Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be talking about crimp terminals. Now what is a crimp terminal you may ask? It's something we use when we have something like a wire or balance lead or whatever and we need to connect it to something like a battery. You wouldn't want to just strip this back, wrap it around the stud and put the nut on. It wouldn't make a very good connection. So we use crimp terminals. So in the case of today's videos, we're using these crimp terminals. Now these ones are fancy. They have heat shrink tubing as part of them. And we also have a crimping tool that we're gonna be showing. And that is here inside this case. Now this is the WireFi kit. And we're gonna have a link for this down in the description. But this kit comes with a set of wire strippers and all the crimp dies you could possibly need. And for too long, we've been using crimping tools like these ones from Commercial Electric. And these ones do not do a very good job of crimping, especially once you see what this can do. Now this tool right here is my new favorite tool because if you look, it's a ratcheting type. It's a, like a compound. So a long way of movement on the handle gives you just a little bit of crimping, which means you have extra leverage from this side that gives you even more crimping force on this side. So you can get really nice strong crimps. So, let's look at inside this crimp terminal. We have this heat shrink on the outside and that heat shrink is a little bit delicate and we need to get the wire in through the end of that terminal into that metal part that you can see there. And once the wire's in there, we need to use this tool and squeeze down on this metal part so that it can compress onto the wire and make a solid connection. So I like this kit because it also comes with a set of wire strippers. And to do this, we can use the wire strippers. And this wire is a number 16 wire. So I can put it through about that far. And since these wire strippers are so good, it cuts like butter. And I can give this a little bit of a twist. I can put it through this terminal here into that metal part. And I'm looking right in here to make sure I get it fully seated there into the terminal. And I'm gonna put it on the red setting here because this is a red connector and the color codes are based on the wire size. And I'm gonna get it on there like that, as you can see, and then squeeze this all the way down. And I'm gonna go until the handles touch together. Now, this is a ratcheting type, so if I stopped halfway, it'd be stuck. You'd have to continue squeezing in order for it to release. So this tool is nice because it makes sure that you don't under crimp your connectors as long as you use the correct setting based on the color of your terminal. Now you can see this heat shrink is not damaged by the tool. Previously I've used this tool, uh, I've used this one, it's damaged the heat shrink and then its usefulness is effectively nothing. So yeah, with that crimp now, I'm gonna use a heat gun. And if you don't have a heat gun, you absolutely should get one. And all I'm doing is heating up this tubing until it gets kind of clear and it shrinks down and bites onto the wire real nicely. And there's glue inside of this, so it glues down onto the wire and makes sure there's no way for any moisture or anything like that to get down into this connector. And you can see it's really nice and smooth now this may be a little hot if you're, you know, you just heat, uh, now this may be a little hot if you just did the heat shrink, but you can see it's a nice solid connection. And if I pull on this, it's not coming out. It's ready to go for a long time. So this is the method I prefer to use on all of my balance leads. And I like this tool a lot. This is one of my favorites. Um, and this is like a balance harness off of an active cell balancer. Um, so this is gonna come up in a future video but yeah i really like these crimp terminals um, the crimping tool i can easily make a real nice solid connection and then uh, this is how we would go onto the battery we would put this on here uh, if we had any bus bars we'd put the bus bars on first then put the ring terminal and then tighten down a nut so uh yeah guys quick little video today hope you enjoyed we'll see you in the next one and uh talk to you soon